From excavators that boggle the mind to trench diggers that are truly massive and more, join me as I reveal to you eight of the most amazing extreme machines in action you need to see. Number eight, Big Bertha. Tunnels are most definitely not the easiest thing to make for various reasons. It takes a lot of planning, time, manpower, and materials to get them crafted and stable. So to help ease this burden, massive machines were made to help speed up the process via drilling. It started out with small drills, but then they got bigger and bigger to fulfill the needs of those who truly needed massive tunnels. The biggest machine tunnel drill out there is a behemoth known simply as Big Bertha. The massive drill is 300 feet in length and was made for the Washington State Department of Transportation's Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Tunnel Project in Seattle in 2013. The diameter of the machine's drill section is 57.5 feet in length, allowing it to make a truly perfect circle when drilling into the hard rock and stone of its intended target. It also weighs 7,000 tons, which means it can't be moved by conventional means. In fact, to get it to the various locations it needed to be at for the tunnel, they moved the drill by ship. In terms of height, the drill is five stories high. In regards to the machine's functionality, that's where things get tricky, as there were issues while the drilling of the Alaskan Way viaduct was underway, so much so that there was a two-year delay due to fixes and other impediments needing to be taken care of. Still though, making a drilling machine of this scale to even partial functionality is rather impressive, and when it works and is drilling through the ground at a rapid rate, Big Bertha is truly something to behold. Though it should be noted that after the tunnel was finished in 2017, she was disassembled. Number 7. Sandvik MR361 Roadheader While the MR361 Roadheader may seem like something from a Mad Max or post-apocalyptic world, it's honestly something that was made in the real world for very real reasons. In fact, here's part of the official description for the machine. Sandvik MR361 Roadheader is an electro-hydraulic part-face cutting machine designed for roadway development and for coal, rock, gypsum, potash, and salt mining. Its long arms are able to keep people safe while they're cutting into the earth or stone. It has a wide variety of adjustable features, thus making it perfect for mining operations, as well as digging out caves and creating home areas within mountains. Not only does it cut through, for the material that doesn't get torn up by the massive cutters, the rest can also be put onto the machine and taken away via a conveyor belt, not unlike a gold mining dredge. The body of the MR361 roadheader is incredibly strong, and allows the machine to endure through long sessions of cutting and plowing. The company also boasts that its machine has a high degree of accuracy, ensuring that you cut through what you're aiming at. Arguably, the best part of this is that the device has been modified and upgraded over the years into models like the Sandvik MT720, which allows this type of amazing machine to do even more work across types of terrain. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think of this machine? Let me know in the comments below. And now for number six. But first, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest videos. And let me know if you've ever seen any of these machines working in real life. Number 6. Bagger 293 The Bagger 293 was built in 1995 by German engineers. And as you can tell, it was not a machine designed to do little jobs. Just the scope of this machine is something to behold, especially from ground level. This massive bucket wheel excavator is over 300 feet in height, while also being over 740 feet long end to end. In terms of the weight of it, the machine is so massive it weighs over 30 million pounds. Truly a massive construction. The purpose of the machine is simple. It's a very literal earth mover. It's put into mining areas and is able to get through 8.5 million cubic feet of earth a day, thus allowing miners quicker access to the valuable materials that they're working for. Because in this trade, moving through the dirt and earth means quicker payouts and quicker progress through the area they're in. In terms of the dirt mentioned, that amount of dirt would be about the length of a football field. That's also 80 feet deep. And remember, it does this every day. I would love to tell you that it's a perfect machine from start to finish, but sadly, it's not. As the Bagger 293 is not easy to move and cannot be easily pushed around an obstacle, it also has been noted to be not very accurate when it moves dirt as it can sometimes pick up machines while trying to do work, which is obviously not the best thing to happen when you're working in said machine when it tries to pick you up. Despite the flaws though and the size, it only takes a five-man team to run it, which means it is efficient in terms of how you operate it, which is always valuable on a site like mining. To witness it in action must be something to behold the first few times around because there are truly very few things like it in the industry. Number five. The Torno L2350. In the world of mining and construction, there are many ways to go and get earth moved from 
place to place. One of the best ways is through loaders. They go and scoop up freshly churned up dirt or material and put them into haul trucks. The best and biggest in the business is the Latorno L2350, which quite literally holds the Guinness World Record for biggest earth mover. Designed to center load haul trucks with capacities of up to 400 tons, the L2350 provides an operating payload of 160,000 pounds or 80 tons, a 24-foot lift height and an 11.5-foot reach. To further help cement how massive this machine is, just the tires are 14 feet in diameter, so it's well over double the height of even some of the tallest humans around. You might think that its size would be a detriment, but that's not the case. In fact, the design of Latorno L2350 was done in such a way to ensure that its loader bucket and the arms would be able to lift massive amounts of weight without harming the person driving or tipping the balance of the vehicle itself. The machine is so useful that you can order one for your site today, so long as you have $1.5 million. Number 4. Big Win As anyone who has dealt with fire will tell you, putting out a fire that has spread very fast is a very dangerous and hard task, which is all the more prevalent in the world today via the California and Australian wildfires that have gripped the world in 2020. They can get so bad that even dedicated firefighting teams with dedicated equipment to put out fires don't always succeed. They need something bigger, more powerful, and yes, more amazing. That's where the machine known as the Big Wind comes in as long as the situation is dire. What might be the most interesting thing about this amazing machine is that the circumstances around the building of the Big Wind wasn't for firefighting at all. It was built by a team of Hungarian engineers. They took two massive jet engines and put them on top of a tank. Then they put six hoses around each engine so that when the hoses and the engines were turned on, a massive torrent of water would be unleashed. Truly something you don't see every day even by extreme standards. But again, these massive torrents of water weren't for putting out fires, but instead, it was to clean tanks. No doubt they would clean tanks in no time flat with that amount of power. Yet, when they saw it in action, they realized that these could put out fires fast with the unyielding flow of water being poured on them, thus making it more useful, more efficient, and more timely than things like basic hoses or aerial vehicles having to go and retrieve water before dumping them on affected areas. If you're waiting for the catch, here it is. Due to the overwhelming power the big wind exerts, it can't be used to put out fires in, say, city areas because the pressure from the water would put out the fire, but also break down the buildings. Due to this, the big wind is used for putting out oil well fires, which are notoriously hard to put out with basic equipment. Number three, the Akko Super Bulldozer. There are various machines that are meant to help move earth on a mining or construction site, and bulldozers are ones that are vital for moving material, clearing off overburden, and more. But just as important, the size of your bulldozer absolutely matters, and the bigger they are, the more earth you can move. Enter the Akko Super Bulldozer, which is well and truly the biggest bulldozer ever made, period. It was built in Porto Guaro in northern Italy by the Umberto Akko Company, who took a very unique approach to make the device. How so? Despite its size and power, it was made from caterpillar parts for the majority of its body. However, many parts were adjusted to further handle the size and power of the craft, and then the bulldozer blade had to be custom made because nothing like it had ever been built before. It's 23 feet wide and 9 feet high. Sadly, due to a trade embargo after it was done, it couldn't be put to use and is now on display. Number 2. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 In mining, a classic problem is that of overburden. Overburden is mining dirt or material that is on top of the material that you need to get to in order to do your job. One of the hardest and most frustrating jobs of a miner is to clear said overburden and put it in a place where it can't bother you anymore. In the Lestation fields of Germany, they had an easy way of getting around that with the Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60. The bridge is over 1600 feet long and it used conveyors to perfectly and easily transport the overburden away from the mine site and thus get it out of people's way. In fact, it helped the coal mine in question so much, there's no coal left. Nowadays, the bridge is a tourist attraction that people can walk across to see how the miners did things, as well as experience a light show on it at night. Number 1. The Chain Trencher Oftentimes, machines are constructed with the purpose of doing things that take man a long time to do, and the chain trencher, also known as the chainsaw tank, is one very amazing example of that. This is a chainsaw-mounted machine that is used to dig massive trenches within the earth in a fraction of the time it would take a group of men to dig the trench themselves. The size of the chainsaw can allow the trencher to go 18 feet deep into the ground and carve up the area to about 4 feet in width. There are models like the Tesmex 1675 that are even able to do more than that. As for what these massive and deep trenches are for, 
They're usually dug for things like a pipe that need to be put into the ground for various reasons. It does the job quickly, the pipe is laid, and they can move on. Plus, the device is easily moved, and there's a portable version as well that can be operated by a single worker. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these amazing machines? Which one did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.